This is the ETM 1120 video on installing a router bit. For the process check, you can only install the decorative routing bit. You will also have rabbiting router bits. These will not count for the router bit process check, but you still can do these throughout the class. So for the process check, you're going to be installing the decorative bit, and that's primarily what this video will focus on. Step one when installing a router bit is to ensure the machine you have is unplugged. Step two, we're actually going to install the router bit. So I'm going to take the router bit, drop it into the collet, and I'm going to tighten it down using the silver wrenches, which are located in the cabinet next to the dust collector. So silver wrenches to tighten it down. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm moving over to the table saw. If you're tall enough, you can actually tighten it on the router table. If you're shorter, you can do it on the table saw or the radial arm saw. To tighten it down, you first want to twist it by hand and take note of which one you're holding still in which direction you're rotating the other. So in this case, when I install it, I'm gonna hold the bottom one down, and I'm going to twist the top one clockwise. Tighten it down by hand, rotate the router body on its side, take the two silver wrenches, remembering that the bottom one I'm just going to hold still, and I want the top one to rotate clockwise. So I'm going to hold the bottom one down on this side. And I'm going to push down with my left hand, which will tighten it. I'm going to use all my body weight, and I'm putting my hands up so I don't smash my knuckles. If you do it like this, you can smash your knuckles. So put your hands up, and then just drop your shoulders. And you can see I'm kind of parallel. That puts all my force in the downward direction. If you try to do it up like this, some of your force is going into the metal rod and some of your force is going straight down. So you want the bars to be pretty close to perpendicular to the parallel to the surface and then drop your weight and just snug it up to it no longer moves. So you want to keep the bars fairly parallel to the surface and drop your body weight. Now this is snug down, it's quite tight, and I'll go back over to the router table. So step four, I'm going to set the height of the router. You can see it moving up and down as I twist it. I want the height to be set flush with the tabletop. Once I've set it flush with the table, I'm going to lock it in place. So step five is just lock it in place. So now that I've set the height of the bearing, I'm going to adjust the fence so that it's flush with the leading edge of the bearing. So I'm gonna pull the fence up to where that it's flush in line with the leading edge. So to do that, I'm going to get it approximately close. I'm going to lock one end, and then I'm going to get down and look down the length of the fence and ensure that the bearing is flush with the front of the fence. 